Hi everyone, welcome to another video today. This video is mainly recorded for the children who are giving St. Olive Stage 1 and Stage 2 and who are preparing for Southern Stage 2. This is a maths paper from a private school. The paper from these schools, are they normally copy the private school papers and the level of difficulty is same like private school paper. So I hope that this uh, this paper would help you all to prepare for your entrances for stage two and stage one if you have not done stage one just try doing this paper on your own first and then try looking at this video and see how many th questions you got wrong or right i have put the paper in the description for you all to have a look you could just print out the paper and try doing with me in the life or you could do any other way so let's get started now if you all are ready let me start sharing my screen and let me hide myself and now let's get started so the first one as you know that i always say that if you are also preparing for private schools in the beginning the papers are really easy and towards the end they get started getting hard the same applies to if you're giving say all of stage one you would find the paper really easy in the beginning and towards the end the paper would be a little hard and remember that stage one is all multiple choice so you might have some questions similar to this one but most of them will be uh, you will get them in stage two so let's get started for the first one it's such it's just adding you have to know your adding skills so i will just write the answer so that we don't take more time and go on the ones which are hard so you need to remember your adding skills so, so the answer for the first one is 6203 and for the second one the answer is 1773 and if you go now they always ask they have if you look at the look at the pattern what they have they have addition multiplication division and subtraction so they want to see how good you are all in all of these things so then you have six to seven multiply by seven so your answer for this one is six four eight nine and then you have your division skill so you need to know how to divide and then the answer would be three seven zero six the next one is they're asking you write down the numbers which is five less than eight thousand and three so you know that they want you to write eight thousand and three and they want you to minus it by five so make your life easier just try writing zero 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 so you know that what you are writing so your answer for this one would would be seven nine nine eight on a six one they want you to complete the missing numbers so five plus eight is eight nine ten eleven twelve so you need six so if you have six what in eight you will add that gives you sixteen so you'll write seven and then seven plus eight is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you had one carryover that's 16. And then what in let's say four, because you have one carryover plus one on the top of that gives you eight in that, that would be four. Now next one is a chocolate bar costs 36p. How many can Nikita buy for 3 pounds? So you know that. Let me take my. So you know that oh, I need it to be big. Let me just make it a little big.
yeah it is big now so you got three pounds let me take the sign three pounds you know how much three pounds equals to 300p and then you are just dividing it by six and that will give you guys 8.33 and try rounding that to give you a good answer when you do rounding your rounding will equal to 8 so you need to try doing it rounding I'll make it bigger because I think so it's not so big let me make it bigger for you guys oh that's too big I hope it's bigger now can you see it now I think so you can so let's move on to the next one in next one they are saying 24 children eight children of this class have school lunches and the others don't have so you know that is 5 over 8 into 24 24 children have 5 8 of them we have written 5 8 of 24 you just need to find that out we can simplify that that's 1 and that will be 3 so then you just multiply 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 how many don't have how many children have school lunch so you know that it's sorry i came back so you know how many children have school lunch and if you do that you know that it's only 15 children have school lunch now we are on number nine that's sequences in this you need to find out the sequence so if you look at the sequence 2 plus 8 plus 14 plus what is happening in all of them they are going plus six in all of them when they go plus six that will be 26 for this one and would be 38 for this one so now if you look at this one what's happening because it's missing 20 a 27 9 3 it's three times table so they all are multiplying it by three so if they are multiplying by three it'll be one here and will be 81 here and in this one you have to look at the sequence what's happening the sequence for this one is one one over half so if we have this that would be three half and the next one would be just half number 10 they're asking you what fraction of the parallelogram below is shaded you just need to see how much is shaded if you see there's eight of them which is shaded eight and then how many rest are left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so it's 24 and when you try to simplify that you will get one over half one third would be your answer for this one and now they are telling you write down all the numbers between 41 and 51 which are visible by 3 and 4 so basically you need to find the LCM of 3 and 4. So you're finding the LCM 3 and 4. And you know that what the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. 
so try doing it with 12 you know the first one we could just do it 12 multiply by 3 12 multiply by 4 that gives you 36 and this one gives you 48 and the next they are asking you 12 multiply by 5 if you see that that's more that would be 60 but we need something between 41 and 51 so we know that would be 48 so now it's number 12 it said that jenny pays 156 pounds for six nights bed and breakfast accommodations how much would it cost her to pay for eight nights so you know that six nights equals to 156 pounds and let's assume 8 nights equals to x so then you would do that what would you do then let me just draw it for you guys now then you will just do x equals to 156 multiply by their 8 nights multiply by 8 and divided by 6 and when you do that just try simplifying them and afterwards you will get 208 pounds don't forget to put your pound sign so it will be 208 pounds would be your answer for this one so now for the next one number 13 they are asking you that Dira watched television from 5.35 p.m. until 7.10. How long did she spend watching it? So you know that she watched from 5.35 is the time she started till all the way to let's do 6.35 is 1 hour. And she watched all the way till 7.10. So she watched all the way till 7.10. If you look at this 535 to 635 is 60 minutes that's one hour or you could also say one hour and from 635 to 710 is 35 minutes so time she watched is basically one hour and 35 minutes and the next one they are saying that Dira watched television for 2 hours 60 minutes. 2 hour means 120 minutes. And 45 minutes. How much time does she spend watching television over the 3 weekends? So you have 3 hours. Forty-five minutes that I also wrote as two is to sixty plus forty-five that gives you one sixty-five minutes, and then you just do it. Because they are saying over the three weekends, you need to find that out. 3 into 165. That gives you 495 minutes. And they want you, they want you to tell. You could leave it like that. Or because they are asking. How much time she watched watching you have to find how much hours you have to make it in hours try dividing it by 60 is 8 hours and 
15 minutes. Now you have to arrange them in starting with the smallest. 5th, 20th is 5 by 12. I'll just try making that first. And that would be equal to 0 0.41. I'm making all of them in decimals. 4 by 5 in decimals is 0 0.80. 3 fourth in decimals is 3.75. You could also make them in fractions, but if you do it in fractions, that would have been that would have been more confusing for you. So basically you now you can see all of them in decimals. Now you can see which one is what. So the first one is your 5 fifth i'll just write the short form 5 twelfth. sorry 5 twelfth. i'll write pt is 5 twelfth is your first one then after that would be 0 0.65 and after that would be 0 0.7 then would be 3 fourth and the last one would be Four fifth. So now we are on number 15 and they are just telling you shade the diagram so the dotted line is line of symmetry. To do that you, you have to basically color this one. I'm just doing this one because you need a line of symmetry. You will do this one. this one here I'll color this one also this one and last this one so basically need to be same like the like them because line of symmetry is both the sides are basically the same so this is how you would be coloring it now we are on 16. They say that Jemmy has got 7 questions. Always I tell the channel to write on the top so you don't get confused. In the test out of 25 questions, what percentage of the questions did she get wrong? You know that it's 7 because we have written on the top. By 25 and the percentage is always by 100. By 100 and try simplifying that is 1. And that's 4. So 7 is to 4 is 28 percent. So now we are on number 17. In this they are telling you the second hand of the clock point the number 2. After a minute and 20 seconds what number will it be pointing so. So try thinking about if you have a clock and if you see that. So they're asking you the second clock, uh, sorry, the second half of the clock points at the number two, is pointing at number two. After one minute and 20 seconds, what number will it point to? So if you look at the clock here, after a minute it points to, so you know that it's 20 over 5, that's 4. And then 2 plus 6 was given to you or 2 plus 4 sorry 2 plus 4 is 6 so your answer would be 6 for this one so now number 18 they say that Charlotte buys 500 G of cheese which cost her 5 pound 30 per kilograms 6 bananas I write on the top 6 is 50p and two chocolate bars all right two chocolate bars cause this how much change will she have when she has 10 pounds so this is a 10 pound so try writing what i did so now they are asking 
cheese so you know that and as by 500 g of cheese which cost her this kilogram 6 so you know that to find the cheese you have to do half multiply by 5.30 that simplify gives you 2.65 So the first one is two point six five. To find the bananas, you have to do six multiply by fifteen because they have six bananas given to you, and that's ninety p is for the bananas. Ninety p is for banana for the chocolate bar. It's two. Is two fifty six. That gives you one point one two. And the how much change does she get? So you know that what we wrote on the top. It's ten notes she got. And whatever uh, you just found out, keep writing all of them. You need to add all of them. Nine zero plus one point one two. Then you have ten minus four point six two. That gives you five point three three. So that's the change she will get back. I hope you all get it. Number nineteen, you have to measure the. You won't get a question like this, but if you're doing private school, you would. They're telling you to link measure her pencil before she sharpens it. What's the length of the pencil? So if you look at this, it's here. If you measure it, that is five point seven, and here is one point eight. You might get this something in stage two, not in stage one. So. It's five point seven, and you are just minusing it from one point eight. That gives you three point nine centimeters. So now we are on number three. Arrange the letters for each of the events in order from starting. So basically. Rolling a dice and getting a three. So that would be definitely we roll a dice and you get three. That would be because dice has six would be one six, and the next one would be rolling two dice and getting a total of fifteen. That would be a zero. The next person. The next person. Who walks in the door was born on a Wednesday. That would be one seven. The last digit of telephone number is not a nine. There are ten of them, so it's ten. So let's put them in order. So your order would be B, C, A, and a D. Now you have twenty. One. It says that Maria telephoned Priya on her mobile. The rate of the first three minutes. So I'm just going to write whatever they say. Three minutes is seven p. After that, the telephone call five p per second. So telephone will last twenty two, twenty one minutes. Was the cost. So you know that the cost. So just write the cost. And write in the bottom whatever they say. Keep on writing. All the information was given to you. Three multiply by seven p plus twenty one minus three into five p. Now try opening the brackets. 
ट्वेंटी वन पी प्लस एटीन सॉल्व पुट द ब्रैकेट्स हियर मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव दैट गिव्स यू ट्वेंटी वन पी प्लस नाइंटी पी दैट इक्वल्स टू one 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 but we have to remember to write our point so that would be 1.11 so let's move on to 22 now these type of questions what now you have you might get in stage 1 in seen all is because they they have something similar like this in their uh sample paper basically so they are saying which of the two shapes can be fitted together to make a large shape if you look at the shapes now which of them if you look at this one look at this one this one which one you think could make a shape like this so you have to think carefully which can make so if you look at 1 and 4 that's the one when they fit you have to see the lines and the sequence and see which one would fit so it will be 1 and 4 so now you have to do the working out this is long multiplication now so you have 150 multiplied by 340 that is 510000 15 multiplied by 7 That's two five five, and then you have five hundred and ten divided by seventeen. That is thirty. So now you have twenty four. It says that Sally has four brothers. I'll write on the top. So let this guy read for you all now. Let me. Sally has four brothers, and Sam's age to Ben's age gets twelve. The total, Frederick and Sam's and Ben's age is twenty-eight. Marlon's age added to Sam's age is twenty. The total of the brothers' age is thirty-nine. So let's get the information what's given to us. So we know that Sam's plus Ben. H is equals to twelve, and the next one was given to us is all the three ages, Sam and the total of the ages equals to twenty eight, And then to find Sam's age, you just need to minus that from that. That would be twenty-eight minus twelve. That gives you sixteen. So you have another one now. Milo, Milo plus Sam plus Sam. And all of the four of their ages equals to thirty nine. And to find Mello's age, you need to write that down. Wait, let me just write that down. Because we did find. One age that's here, so we know the total of their ages. The other ones M plus twenty eight equals to thirty nine. To find this age, you'll take that side. The sign changes; it becomes minus, and that would be eleven. So you to find the Sam's age, that equals to twenty. Twenty. 
so to find sam's age you just have to put it down and you need to do 20 minus what you found out before 11 that would give you 9 so sam plus ben's age equals to 12 so we'll just put the ages again so ben equals to 12 if i take that side the sign changes minus s so b equals to 12 and we found out that's 9 12 minus 9 that's 3 so we got all the ages sam is 9 ben is 3 Frederick is 16 and Milo is 11. I'll just do circles so you understand what ages we found out. So you can look back afterwards how did we find out. Okay, now 25 they are telling you that the time in australia is 10, 9 hours ahead of our time in uk i wish to ring a friend in australia so that from them the time is between 6 30 pm and 8 30 pm between what time in the uk should i ring them so basically it's 6 30 in uk and the time difference is 9 hours so you need to minus 9 and that would be 9.30. So that would be 9.30. And 8.30 also they told you just try doing 8.30. minus 9 that would give you guys 11 30 so you should basically give your friend a call between 9 30 to 11 30 and the next one is the time in the USA is 5 hours behind, so it's behind again. Behind, when you are behind, you need to add. When it's in front, you need to minus, okay? Remember that in UK is when it's 4 in the UK. That's 9. And then when it's in Australia when there is 9 you need to 9 9 that's 6 hours 6 p.m. sorry not hours 6 p.m. so let me also do this p.m. so what's the time in that it's 6 p.m. So this is this one is easy. You need to find out what's the largest number you could make. The largest number you can make is nine eight five four three. The largest number which is you can divide by four this uh, divisible by four is nine five three eight four. And the last one they're asking you the number which is smallest uh, even number so remember even number because you always try writing the smallest one but you don't think about the even so now zinc has a 24 hour clock 2 a.m is shown has 2 and 8 35 p.m is shown at as 20 35 the numbers shown grow in the dark the numbers are displaced as below what's the time when the glow from the clock is least so remember that the night time means it is taken between 18 a.m 
18 to morning 6. So the time is basically taken from 18 in the night till the morning. as 6 in the morning yeah and as the question says it glows as dark so we should consider the times in between these two only so you have to consider time between these two only so what is the time when the uh, what is the time when the glow from the clock is greatest least number of lines so you know that there are 11 9 lines so if this is 0 when it glow will look at 6 this will look at 2 this will be 5 5 4 would look at 4 5 would look at 5 6 will look at 6 7 would look at 3 7 and 6 because the number of lines are displayed you have to look at the number of lines so least number of lines now they're telling you the least glow if you look at the one which is least glow when you look in the dark least glow would be 2011 and the greatest glow would be 0008 so how many lines were for the first one you could see 11 and for the next one you could see how many lines 25 So now we are on 28. At a party, all the children were put into groups of four to play a game. Two children had to sit out. For another, uh, for another game, they were put into groups of five. Two children had to sit up. For the next game, they were put into groups of six. Number of children had to sit out. How many children were in the party? So you know that for all these things because you, there would be a remainder and the remainder would be two for all of them and if you look at the this one basically there are six of them so it should be a multiple of six. How many children were in the party so let's try doing the multiple of let me take my. So 6 multiplies so think of the multiples of 6 I'll just write it down here only is 6 12 18 And 120 so you need to have a remainder 2 so you think about that which one gives you a remainder 2 if you do that you know that you 
you could do different solutions for this one but you should always go with the small one so i'll take 42 could be the one 102 also could be the one so it could be any so you have to choose any one which is the smallest and the better one so now in 29 write down how many cubes and triangle blocks are used to make the ship show below so you know the cubes the cubes equals to 2 multiplied by 8 that gives you guys 16 and the triangles is only one so it's six so that's 16 and six so now you have a b and c represents different digits what's the value of a b and c so let's do this one let me take this now So you know that 10a plus plus c equals 50, 10b plus c plus a equals to 41 9 a minus b gives you guys 1 so now you have to find the possible values so the possible values i'll do it here So the possible value will be equal to a b equals to that could be 43 32 21 or 10 and C could equal to 50 minus 43 that gives you guys 7 so B C I'll write it here then. So BC plus 4 will give you 37 plus 4, that's 41. So your A will equal to 4. Your B will equal to 3 and your C will equal to 7. So that's your answer for this one. Now you got 31. They said the shape is made from 9 identical squares. The area of the shape is 144 centimeter square. What's the parameter of the shape? So you know that the total uh, the square is 9 and the area of the square would be because 124 is given to us. You would just do 124 divided by 9. That will give you guys 16 
centimeter square so to find the a square minus 16 equals to 4 centimeters we simplify that and then your perimeter would be 20 multiplied by a and we found that that's 4 so 20 multiplied by 4 that would give your answer as 80 and centimeter definitely so 32 now they are saying that you have to look at the example to see how the four numbers in the corners of the square are used to make the numbers in the middle so you look at the example was given to you with looking at the example we just have to do 7 multiplied by 4 minus 3 multiplied by 4 that would give you 28 minus 12 that's 16 and same thing with the b part so you know this is 16 so we need to find what this is here to find that you would do 7 multiply by 5 minus 2x gives you 25 35 minus 2x equal to 25 and then your x will equal to 5 now the b part you need to find this and this to do that that will be x square minus 15 equals to 34 x square equals to 49 So your x equals to 7 so we know that this is also 7 and this is also 7 now we have to find in this one we need to find this one here to find that we'll again do the same thing 7x minus 48 gives you x then 6x gives you 48 when it comes that sign that side it changes so x will equal to 8 in this you could do any combinations so i have done 2 4 3 6 you could do any of them you could do the way of doing is 1 multiply by 6 minus 2 multiply by 3 you just need 0 or 1 multiply by 10 minus 2 is to 5 there are lots of way you can do any I mean I'm just stop here you could just do any of them so now we are on 33 in this they are saying that there's a sequence of whole number 7 22 11 24 the rule for the next number sequence is if the number last number is or then multiply it by 3 and add 1 if the last number is even then half it in the following sequences the first three numbers have been given to you so you go this way and you see what what's happening if you look at the sequence in the sequence what's happening is 16 multiply by 2 that's 32 so with this you will find you know that it is 32 and then you will be able to find the others at 64 and that's 128 and 
what about the other one in the other one you know that is 16 equals to 5 multiply by 3 plus 1 so this would be your 5 10 3 and the last one 10 equals to 3 multiply by 3 plus 1 so this would be that would be 5 10 and 20 they could be any other sequence any other sequences you all could do you could do it here so the next one 24 is there are three pet rabbits cost 19 pounds 70 the second rabbit costs two pounds more than the first one and the third rabbit costs 80p less than the second one what's the cost of the first rabbit so you need to find the cost of first rabbit so we will assume it x first rabbit x plus 2 is the second rabbit and x plus 2 minus instead of writing ATP uh, we wrote 0 0.8 you will keep simplifying opening the brackets maybe now oh, this is six sorry and then, then your x would equal to 5.5 now swell has split juice all over her calculator now only five buttons are working equal c equals to the clear bar and the equal so this given you they have given you that three multiply by eight plus now you need to work out what each of them so working with this you would just work that out so it'll be eight multiply by six minus 3 other would be 3 multiply by 3 minus 8 and the last column would be 6 8 minus 36 so now they are telling you that Joe, Laura, Sam, Ali and Saying each give one of the others a present. No one get got two presents. Laura received a CD. Ali received a book. Clary give a video. Ali give a scarf, but not to Craig. Same give a puzzle and did not receive the scarf. Fill in the boxes. So you have to make a chart. Try making this. What each one of them get. It's one, two, three, five people. So this would be give and receive the one, two, three, four, five. So this is Z, L, S, A, L. So keep writing what each one of them got. He got a CD but did not get a scarf. So scarf did not get one. He got a book but did not get a CD. Got a puzzle and did not get receive a video. Scarf book. 
video puzzle so jo received she received a scarf from ali laura received a cd from jo sam received a video from craig ali received a book from who did it is name from laura Craig received a puzzle from Sam. So now you have to find out the missing sequences. So you don't know what the sequence is, but you know that X. Plus three, plus x, plus six, because there are six of them. Ah, uh, plus six, because you know the you need to work it out. That gives you nineteen, because it's given two numbers. We sequence are added together to give the following. So two numbers are added. So you know that. So that will be two x. Plus nine gives you nineteen. So your two x equals to ten. So your x will equal to five. So this would be five, eight, eleven. Because in this one you're adding three. And in this one, you're adding six. So thirty-eight now. So they're saying how many spots are on the face opposite to the one? Uh, okay, let's read the question carefully. They are saying an ordinary dice. The number of spots on opposite faces add up to seven. So spots dice equals to twenty one. You know that. So there are twenty one in here, and opposite the one with three spots. So you know, one two three four five seven is given to you. Just minus by three, that would be four for this one. Raja is playing with same die. Rajini is playing with the same die. She plays them on a table and adds up all of them to see. So she is adding all of them. So let's do it. One, add all the sides. Plus four, plus two, plus five, plus three. That gives you fifteen. So they are asking you what is this dice and this one. To know this one, it will be one plus four plus five. Oh, not plus four. Let me do this one again. I messed it around. It's one plus two plus five plus six. Plus seven that gives you seventeen, and this one would be one plus two plus three plus four plus six. That's sixteen, and the down one is four 
प्लस सिक्स प्लस थ्री प्लस वन गिव्स यू फोर्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन प्लस फोर्टीन गिव्स यू थर्टी So now they are saying that Rajni tries to arrange two dice on the table. What's the smallest number of spots she can do? So you know that there are two dices which has three sides are closed. So it'll be six plus six plus five plus five. That's twenty. That's twenty two, and there are two of them. That equals to twenty two. There are two of them, so you will do forty two minus twenty two. That would be twenty. Two close sides, so it'll be six plus six plus one. That's thirteen. There are two of them. So it'll be twenty-four minus thirteen. That gives you twenty-nine. Now the last one. There are different shapes. Uh, stand for e eleven for the number from zero to twelve. So you need to work out each one of them. So if I look at this one here, this shape here, this one, this is basically five multiplied by two gives you ten, and if you look at this one, this one is zero, and if you look at this one, this is six multiplied by two equals to twelve. So we All work out the multiple. So this one, there are square numbers, so possible. So there are square numbers. For this one, you look. This will be four because there are square numbers. They have told you. And the one with the star. Let's find the one with the star. So we found all the shapes now. So this is basically ten. This is six. This one is four. This one is one. This is twelve. This is five. This is eight. Zero. Three. Nine. Two. So this one, this one up, this one, let me find out the others. Oh, you need to find these. So this one we did four, the long one with this and this, this one, we know this shape is three. So th that will be three multiplied by two. That will equals to six. So this one is six. This one we found as a zero. This one equals to zero. And then. It has a star, the one with the star. 
so basically we found all of them you can look at this what we have done and you can just put them up together that's it for the paper it was little confusing the last ones obviously as always the last one are always confusing as i told you all before and that's all for today we have done and remember that we have stage 2 coming for if you have given other entrances like seen all of sense uh, sudden your results for that would come maybe this week and our course is starting for that is starting this week on thursday and seen all of won't start before the results come so don't worry about that please enroll your children for these courses if you guys are doing because these are a really good courses what we have for you all as we would be starting them really soon so we'll be starting them really soon and just enroll your child for these courses i will put the link for the courses for you all to join because they really get full because of because of the proper the popularity what i'm saying popularity because of so many children want to pass southern grammar school so these courses get full really really soon so try filling up that and i have one creative writing all of you had recommended creative writing live that would be coming on thursday please join us live on thursday for creative writing not thursday sorry on wednesday join us for creative writing class on wednesday that's free live class on youtube i'll be posting the link for that very really soon maybe today in the evening try joining that class on wednesday and i'll put some books I'll recommend some books for you all for creative writing, which will help you all to pass that. I hope this video was helpful. If you think the video is helpful, please click on the link on the right and subscribe to our channel and like the video before you all go. That's all for today. Thank you.